Okay, so here we go with the Harmony 650 um, remote setup. I'm going to uh, add all my devices and get this thing up and running. I've already added a Roku just because it's the basic thing. Um, but let's go ahead and let's get the TV and uh, dish receiver on here and uh, Blu-ray player. I'll step you through everything, show you how uh, simple this thing is to set up. So there was that. We're going to get the uh, Blu-ray player here set up. And you can uh, set up um, activities, so you'll hit an activity button, and basically that's going to turn all of those devices on at once. So that way, um, you just click one button and everything comes on. So it's going to make it a lot easier um, to get up and, and uh, get and watch TV like, like what you want. So just about done here you can you can see how how easy this thing is to set up and here's the thing with the dish receiver this is gonna happen with a lot of receivers sometimes when you have multiple ones um, the installer will put it on different frequencies so you don't get the uh, receivers mixed up in this case since we only have one it's gonna be on uh, IR mode one, so we're just going to default that. This is just saying it might not work on this mode depending on, on your setup, but for me, it's it's going to be fine. So there we have. We got the five devices, which that's what this thing can control is five devices. Let's go in here to activities. We're going to add an activity. What you want to do before this whole setup, you want to mark down all the HDMI ports, what's plugged into what, so it's going to make this a lot easier. We're going to set up Watch TV. We're going to just leave the name as Watch TV. You can rename it to whatever. This is what's going to show up on the LCD screen on the remote. Okay, so we want the Samsung TV, we want the dish receiver, and then we want the stereo all to come on. So to change the channels, we want to use dish re receiver. It may be different in your case, depending on how you have it set up. I now want the Polk Audio to use the sound. That way it controls it. Here's where it finds out what what are you actually going to, uh, which input is it plugged into. So, the, uh, okay, so their dish receiver is plugged into the HDMI 1, which is what I have here. As you can see, Smart Hub, since Samsung has a Smart Hub, that's actually an input for this remote, so I'll show you that a little later. Okay, Polk Audio, Source 1, there's only, it's right now it's hooked up to Optical, so, uh, and there's only one input, so I'm going to use Input 1, and there we go, just to confirm your settings, and it's easy as that. So we got Watch TV, Watch Roku, I actually need to update this, um, actually I'm going to delete this, I'm going to reset it up. Next, we're going to do Watch Roku, and Watch Roku, we'll keep that name. And as you can see, it's automatically um, selecting devices that we, we it thinks that I'm trying to set up. So a lot of this I can fly through because it's pretty easy. We're going to use audio, control the volume. The Roku is set up HDMI 2. The audio is set up um, optical 1. And here we're just confirming our settings. And easy as that. So let's go ahead and do watch a movie. This is all set up for the Blu-ray player. I'm going to make this a little, a little different here. Okay, selected everything. Control audio. As you can see, it's all such a such an easy setup. It's Logitech's really done a good job with setting, making this um, accessible for anybody, um, regardless of their skills for uh, with technology, to be able to set this remote up um, easily. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do a custom one. This is going to be for the Smart Hub. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to we just want the TV and audio because that's all that's involved with the uh, Smart Hub. And then we're going to use the Smart Hub option. Audio, obviously, Source 1. And there we have it. So we've got Watch TV, Watch Roku, 
watch a DVD Blu-ray, and then we have Smart Hub. So let's go ahead here and uh, show you a couple other things. Buttons. Um, actually, let's jump down here to favorites. You can actually set up favorite channels for this. You can set up to 23. This will be shown in the uh, LCD screen. You just type in the channel number here. Give it, give it a label. Or actually, you can browse and choose an icon if you want. I don't have one that I want to use, but some people like to use their... Um, the actual icon of that channel station. So sometimes you go and download that and upload that and use that for the icon. I'm not going to do it, but let's just add um, 140. 140. I'm going to call this ESPN. There we go. So we've got that. We've got that. Um, you can actually drag these around when you have multiples. And actually, I'm going to add another. Let's add another one. Let's just do 17. I'll show you what I mean by moving those around. There we go. So let's go ahead and manage this. And you can see here, you can drag these. This is what's going to be shown on the uh, um, remote. So you can drag these. So you want, if you want your favorites here on the very first page, because you're probably going to have multiple favorites, um, you can drag them here to put them on your home screen. So, and you just click and drag. It's nice and easy and uh, pretty simple to use. So there you have that. Let's go back here to buttons. Um, let's just say you have, um, let's say watch TV, because this remote actually doesn't have a DVR button. So we're gonna set up a quick way to get to the DVR. Um, so let's click uh, dish DVR. Actually, let's do sequences. This is pretty much a macro. And uh, I'm gonna set up a macro to go to the DVR screen um, quickly and easily. So we're going to call this DVR and we're going to add a step here. The device we're going to use is the Dish DVR and List is what we want. And then we're going to add the Dish Receiver again and we're going to use the number one because it was the number one option. So when you hit this um, sequence it's going to do these in order and it's going to bring up the dvr screen that that way it's just an easier and quicker way to get there you can set up other sequences if you'd like you can name them whatever you'd like and then uh just to navigate through the menu a little easier so we'll go ahead and confirm that and uh, let's go back in there and let's just look at some of these other commands for example let's just say polk audio you can uh since certain remotes have certain things, for example, this we're going to use, um, there's no subwoofer button, so we can use these commands and throw them up on the screen and make it easier to turn the cell up and down, um, change the sources if you need, but for what we're going to use, probably just the sub up and down would all, all we need. I'm not going to set that up. I'll do that later because the video is going to, if I go through all these options, the video is going to get dragged out, so... Let's go back here and uh, you can change what some of these buttons do. Like there's the red, um, green, uh, yellow, and blue here. And uh, let's just say we're going to put that sequence to one of these buttons. So let's go ahead and actually I didn't, didn't mean to select that. Let's go here and we're going to do watch TV. And we're going to use that sequence for earlier. So we're just gonna go over here and drag it onto that red button. Click OK, and there we go. So when we're in wa the watch TV activity, um, that red button is gonna take us to the DVR. And as you can see, when you hover over, it says um, the sequence assigned. You can assign these different options. You can change the functionality of every one of these buttons if you'd like. Um, just depends what you wanna do, so do know that. You can go to any any device. You just gotta. I mean, you pretty much can just look through here and, and do a lot of different things, and they are very very handy. So I I think with this, this is a pretty good overview of of what your actual um, remote can do. Uh, if you have issues with certain commands, for example, there's this. You can teach your harmony to do certain things. If it's not working for you, you can go in here and, and select certain things and and kind of fix the settings, and it's gonna help you out. If you're having any issues, I didn't have any issues to start. Um, 
if you do, there is a help button on the LCD screen that you can use, and it allows you to um, kind of help you figure out and, and walk you through what the issue is and, and get things fixed. So I uh, do note that. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. If you guys have any questions about this setup or um, have any issues setting it up or just in general have general product questions, just feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, stay tuned for more videos.